Thanks, gaming. Yum. That, you know, it does. It does sound like a ma a magical sound shower. <laughs> Getting ma magically sounded on in a shower. <laughs> no, that's what R. Kelly said. <laughs> yo, yo, girl, you want some of my magical sound shower? Yeah, it's totally be the in name of the next album. <laughs> R. Kelly's R. magical Kelly's sound shower. Magical sound shower. <laughs> Risky Ride Edition. <laughs> Risky Ride. <laughs> I'd buy it. Pay good money for that. Look at the AM, look at the AMD ads on the side and shit. Cause they changed <laughs> all the ads from before. Before they actually had they actually had um, like car sponsors and stuff like, oh, like yeah. Michelin and shit. I don't know where the fuck were they? So it's like the Sega Rally games had like things like that. You know what I would love to play uh, if we if we had the chance to do it, especially on Thanks Gaming. I would love to play right. uh, Sega Rally Revo, one of the more underappreciated racing games of this entire console generation. Is that an OG Xbox? Uh, ah, Flamingos Xbox and 360. shit. It's a, it, was, it was the one made by, um, I think Sumo made it. There, there was their yeah, first, Sega like, Rally games are boring. Dude, Sega Rally Revo is awesome. Though. No, it's not. You say that about every Sega Rally well, I, game. I, I like, I like... All, I think all the Sega Rally games are really good because they're hype racers, but there's not a lot of like extra crazy bullshit to them that you like. Was it like a... Yeah, I know, right? Was it Sega Rally on Saturn? That was a 60 frame per second game. At times, yeah. Like, that was like its tried. big claim to fame. It was 60 frames. Ugh. Really? Takumi? Fuck. <laughs> Look at this taxi's going over 150 miles an hour right now. Yeah, dude, with me, it's like, if, it, if, if I can't blow something up or annihilate something, destroy it, you're, uh, you're, I get you, really bored. You're exactly right. like... Great! Fudge. Ah, shit, it's okay. We can only switch it up after this. Damn it, Max. The, um... You're like, you're, it's, it's the same argument you have with me, where it's like, Well, you gotta always fight something, Max, when I'm playing Zelda. I'm like, why do you always need some crazy, stupid thing to blow something up at a racing Because game? racing's boring otherwise. Because it's, dungeons are boring driving otherwise. Driving fast, we're gonna steer to the left, and then steer to the right. Ah, shit. Screw this around and hard. I don't like this, I don't like the forest because it's dark, and it makes it hard to see with all like, the really contrasty shadows. Go to the, the right. Where it is. See what the difference? Get off the rav. Because dungeons are fun, Max. And dungeons. Racing is fun. No, it's not. Oh my God! Look at look at these opinions we have going on right now. You gotta work your brain and think about shit. Work your brain like crazy on this shit too. Yeah, this is all reaction. That's not true. Most of You're telling me, well, okay, so here's the thing with the dungeon. You work your brain once, and that's it. You never have to work it ever again. Then you gotta think about how can I do this faster. Well, I guess, but I mean, that's just reaction. You gotta plan it. Well, it's the same thing in here, dude. Nah. Except with this, when you actually have racers, you gotta change dynamically what you do. Yeah, because it's all reaction based. Uh! The racing's fine, whatever. I just, I never got in. I don't watch Daytona. Same reason. Well, I don't even like watching ah. racing anything, but I like playing it. I feel like I'm in Days of Thunder all the time. <laughs> oh, Fuck, that's right, that turn is super dank. Forgot. Yeah, you like a closet Tom Cruise fan. Uh, I think I'm a closet Don Simpson fan. Yeah. <laughs> all Don's movies back in the 80s were fucking great. Milky Way. Milky Way! Uh, hopefully, we make this. Make this good. Birds. Holy shit, oh this looks God. amazing. Space. I don't think there's a plant, place on Earth that looks that crazy. No, only spot. only with certain cameras. Only with really like high definition lenses. God, the friend would get there for a second. Yeah, right? Can't handle space. Space, not space. Of course, I made that turn. Alright. I wonder if space even looks like that in space. No, it doesn't. Well, not to our eyes. Our eyes can't see that shit. Oh, it's funny, this the spectrum level our eyes can see is remotely... Jesus, you see the size of that turn? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the spectrum our eyes can see is so small compared to what's actually out there. Ah! We're good. Oh my Shell. god, Max. It's Shell. Over. 
It's over. Give Love me, is over. Give me shell glass gasoline. Oh my god. Well, I didn't go exactly how I wanted, but it happened. We got to the Whoa, the shit took off. <laughs> We're in Houston. We have a problem. We have a problem. Oh, what's, what's gonna happen? What is the dramatic love triangle gonna evolve into? The love triangles between the guy, the girl, and the car. Oh, look. There's a shooting star. There's like a billion million shooting stars. <laughs> There's a billion million. <laughs> what is she praying for? Why am I cursed with retarded men? <laughs> <laughs> oh, New York? I want to go to oh, I want to go to New York, son. Yeah, you gotta go all the way to the right. You gotta go all the way to the right and pray to God. Man, I'm not getting close to not even close. Actually, I'm only off by about three seconds, but that's a lot in racing time. Game over. It's a lot in racing time. Yeah, that basically means you suck dick. Dude, back when we were playing Initial D like hardcore crazy in those racing games, I would I would work my ass off for three quarters of a second. <laughs> work my ass off just for that to break that. Okay, let's try... Let's try the Enzo. Enzo God damn, this beautiful Automatic fucking crazy car. You can't, even, you can't even purchase one of these cars. Why not? Because they, uh, they don't make them for anybody except very specific people. You have to, like, you have to, like, convince Ferrari to sell you one. What?! Yes. Passing breeze. There was one Passing in, um... Breeze. There was one in Batman... The first Batman movie? Batman Begins. No. Oh. Where Bruce Wayne drives up in an Enzo to like this, that's the hotel that he like yeah, buys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they pretty much convinced him, we want Bruce Wayne to drive an Enzo Ferrari, and they're like, okay, we'll let you borrow one. What the fuck? Yeah, what is the point in making something like that the then? The richest of rich can have them. But it's like, okay, why can't you just make it like super expensive? They, they have to, no. You have to barter with them you to make to them? I, I think like less than 20 of them actually like exist. On the planet. I might be wrong about that number, but it's a very small amount actually were ever sold. Because they're made of like pretty rare metals on the inside. Not stupid. <laughs> it's it's the ultimate performance vehicle. See, I'm like an anti-car enthusiast. Oh my god, you're so bad. Yeah, I am. And I'm like, a car is there for me to get from place to place, like point A to B. Well, you don't love driving. I drive, I've driven probably more than anyone we know, too. Yeah, but you don't love driving. I don't mind it. Yeah, you don't. You don't get any tough, like a thrill out of driving. No, oh. do you? Okay, well that's that's fine. <laughs> no, because I'm just getting from play, point A to B. I don't. I don't sit there and think. Ah, oh, I love sitting in this li little fucking yeah, like you know box room here, and I'm like you know, everything's driving past me by outside the window. Ooh. I don't know. Something about like after I got my first car when I was like when I was 16, and I got it my with my own fucking money. Yeah. I. We uh, both buy our first cars with our own fucking money. Yeah. Which I, is probably a good thing. I think people should do that. It's a good thing to buy your first car with your own with your own money because it makes you appreciate cars, and it's also to make your for your first car not to be like an amazing vehicle. Yeah. If your first car has like problems, get the this asshole, dude. He's I'm... your rival. No, not now. Fight your rival. Get off me. Yeah, he's just... I hate that. I hate I, the one thing I hate in this game is how how you bounce off of cars and stuff. It's so annoying. It screws you up so bad if you just slightly brush a guy's asshole. Anyway, yeah, I think having your first car is purchased is is good. Like you buying it, it's also good for it not to be like amazing. Like for it to have issues. So you learn to appreciate cars later in life that actually have no problems. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is so nice. I'm not having to worry about my car exploding all the time. I gotta concentrate. I haven't been here in a long yeah. time. <laughs> Arizona. See my tap tap turning? I like this better than analog turning, tap tap turning. I guess it makes more sense, more control. Yeah. Exactly. I got used to it when I was playing Gran, Th Gran Turismo way back in the day. Yeah, but even if I had, like, completely dispensable, like, income... You wouldn't buy a car with it. I wouldn't, I mean, like... Jesus, get off me! How what would you do with, like, a super fancy sports car? Like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini Well, or the something? problem is it's with like, Ferraris is that you have to put certain types of gas in it, too, and stuff like that. Like, not, not just, like, I don't think you can use... Right. You might not be able to use gas from just, like, gas stations. Look at this shit. Get off the so it's, like, even more expensive... So many birds in this game. So many voids. You can't get the Panda Dragoon. I could, if I really tried, I could. We should try to get it. Yeah, you really should. How far are you going to take me? I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you to my Whoa, magical Whoa, how far sound. are you going to take her? Take her right to my magical sound shower. Whoa. Urgh. 
sure that's a hard Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna? Oh shit! Uh, yeah, like the only real racing, like the racing games I liked in the arcades were Scud Racer and uh, just Sega Super GT. Yes. And F, F Zero. And F Zero is amazing in an arcade. Scud Racer, I think, has an amazing look to it. Like, I love the way everything in Scud Racer like appears. You know? Look at this fucking video game we're playing right now. It's awesome. Holy shit! Skyscrapers. Blue, blue skies. Flamingo. Flamingo. Everything's birds. Everything. You haven't even gotten like hot out, air balloons. Outrun right? SP. Everything is birds. Oh, now we're in New York. Now we're in the final stage. Uh, Fudge. Ah, Jesus. Jesus. I can see the appeal of this though, because it, it's very short courses, and you're always trying to like just cut shit off and yeah. quickly and get to a certain point. Jesus, uh, that uh, was a very tight turn. Oh my god, that might have screwed us up. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this now. Go faster. Oh shit. Six. Five. Ah! Yes! I got it, okay. Uh, well, I'm a shadow of my former self from a few years back when I was really good at this game, but it's I, I kind of remember it. Magical Sound Shower. So what we should definitely try to do is, if we don't get the Penza Dragoon, just to reset and get the Penza Dragoon. <laughs> this guy, this guy has the biggest V-neck I've ever seen. Hey, baby. I'm gonna take you back to my bed. I'm gonna fuck you on that statue, woman. <laughs> well, that one didn't have anything goofy. Oh, the reason it didn't have anything goofy because it was the hard one. Because it was yeah. their it was their magical destiny to end Where up in New York. Not, we didn't end up on B. 